Mike Vendetta here with Vendetta Prospecting and we are bringing you another rock crushing video. We are gonna crush up some samples. All right, and these are the samples from Our Home Zoo Prospecting. They sent me some pay dirt and uh, I'm gonna crush these up and see if anything's in there. And then we also have some samples of some VG ore. Look at that. I have no idea how much gold's in here but we're gonna find out. We got piece of visible gold right on that corner too we're gonna crush these up got to break these up first before we can crush them and we'll go over the build here in a minute. okay so this is the actual crusher that I bought and it's it was like an eBay uh, an eBay chainsaw uh, attachable uh, rock crusher uh, they have like a Cobra crusher or the mighty mill LXR postal prospecting's got that one it's a really nice unit it's got like a double walled insulated housing and it, it's it's a detachment for a angle grinder, which the, this company also made as well. Uh, it's the same mechanism to turn the uh, impact feature here. Now these are some bolted and also uh, they have a retaining clip uh, attached. Man, those are actually starting to wear down if you look there. I haven't really looked at that. They actually are wearing down. I've crushed a lot of rock with this thing. I mean, in, in, in you know, in relation to the size, I've used it a bunch. Uh, it did have like a welded rib in here, which kind of helped push the material up. That's filed down, you know, so, and I've also had to weld a couple of these back on, but that's, you know, that's what, what you're dealing with here is this little impact mill. Um, so we've got a little bit of wear. That's fine. A lot of rust. I do keep this thing outside. I'm not going to keep it in my house. Um, and so this was just, by itself I made a little piece of steel and I mounted it with these two little a-frame angle irons welded the unit to it as you can see ah, I'm not gonna turn you around as you can see on the back as well and then just mounted the motor with some um, bolts so it's all it's all good to go it's not moving anywhere uh, and that's kind of how I mounted this all. Now I ran a small belt, so it's a really good pull ratio. And you know, when it's too full or it gets stuck, uh, you know, it basically stops. <laughs> so we have a wall outlet plug that we hooked up to it as well. So I can plug it right into a regular, you know, outlet at the house and we get our power. It's a lot quieter than an engine and this thing rumbling around because this thing is super duper loud. Um, so that's that. We got our ore that we're gonna crush. Again, this is some California ore. And then this is some stuff from Alaska. Got the VG in it. Let's get a weight on this material and we'll see what we come up with. All right, and we'll get some gram weight on this and we're looking at 13 grams. And just to make everyone happy, 186 grams for the larger stones. I'm gonna break these up with a rock hammer. These, I'm gonna do afterwards. I was considering just smashing them up by hand, but we're gonna see what that thing does. Might lose some gold, who knows? Um, but we'll, we'll go after it. So, look at that stuff, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's pretty right there. Too bad we're gonna crush it.
Got all that ore crushed. Don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna put the lid back on, tighten her down, and grind her up. All right, I got it cleaned out. I wiped this lid off, blew it out, cleaned it out. It's nice and fresh. My one concern with this is there's not enough material to really break it up enough, but we'll just see how it does. All right, try it and see what happens. I can see gold already and sweat. This is cool. Look, Let's zoom you guys in here. There is some pebbles of gold in there. Look at that. Those shiny little bits sticking up, up in the pan. Yep, those are all little gold pieces. All right. Dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. All right, I'm gonna dump this out and uh, go eat, like I said. There's some oversized rock for sure. We want all of it to be dust. be our high grade and there's a little bit of sweat there sticking some stuff to the pan but I don't see much gold but I know there's some gold in there and uh, we're gonna pan these bad boys out I really like to see some gold in there that'd be awesome all right hope you guys have a good dinner and I'll be right back all right here's the high grade and we're gonna put it in the blue pan here and we're gonna pan it out Like, sorry, I gotta put a new one on there, bud. Mmm. All right, pan it out.
All right, we're gonna pan out the high grade stuff here. Trying to go a little slower than normal. And I'm looking for little specimen pieces attached to that larger quartz rock down in there. I don't see any as of yet. Oh, there is a little piece of quartz with a little piece of gold in it. I'll put that off to the side. And that's probably plenty of panning there. Oh, you guys seen that already? There's a whole host of gold in there. Wow. And they're all little balls of gold. Hitting up, look at that big old chunk of gold there. Man, oh man, that is a good amount of gold out of that little piece of rock all the way down in there, all the way across. Ah, oh, man, I can I can think a little bit more. There's a nice showing of gold there. That was pretty cool. This has got a little piece of gold in it too, this rock right there. And get that put in the pan. I'm guessing all this stuff sticking together might have a little bit of a little bit of value in it, so. I'm sure there'd be a bunch of people that would like me to smelt this down. Let's see. Flip this back. Yeah, look at all that. That is all free meal gold. All right, I'm gonna put this off to the side and let it dry out, <clears throat> and then I'll clean it up a little bit, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna pan the, Cali the California ore over here that I've got from our home zoo prospecting. That's a really cool showing of gold there. The green pan does it a lot better justice. Got those little roly polyolies down there. Oh yeah. Pen out this ore over here. Let's see if there's anything in it. Also, no more dead dry in there. Okay. Break this up really quick. Looks very similar, a little bit more red. Pretty light material, not that hard to pan out. I'm guessing there'll be some sulfides as we get lower over here. It was pretty good looking stuff. Then again, I think all all nice looking rocks are equally attractive. Do one little bit more and that'll be enough. All right. I'm gonna flip this back. There is some metallic silver looking stuff up in the top there. I don't know if you can... 
Got out. It's very silver looking. Could be we got a little bit of silver in there. And it's funny because uh, down in his river, he's pulling up all kinds of silver looking stuff out of the river. Not sure what it is. Let's see if there's any gold hiding in here. No gold, but there's all kinds of silvery, shiny looking stuff. You see that at the top of the pan? That is not gold right there, that bigger piece, but there's like little silvery specks in there. It could be from the hammer mill thing. There's another nice little piece of it. See that? Nice little sample there. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna let all this dry up and then clean all the larger rocks out and get all the gold and try to weigh it up. I think it will weigh. This piece alone definitely has some weight to it. <laughs> yeah, that's a point to her right there. It's a nice piece of gold. Some other good pieces and a lot of fine free mill gold. Awesome. Alrighty, moment of truth. There is a tiny bit of, little bit of quartz rock in there. I got as much of the gold out as I can. There's a couple specks of gold dust that I missed. That's all right. There's the AU. Beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. A little ugly too, but all gold matters. Holy shit. 0.590, there's over a half a gram of gold in that 13 gram rock. Wow, I'm, it's like 6% or something. Quick math, wow. Wow, I am pretty impressed with that amount of gold. There's a little bit of rock in there, don't get me wrong. But you guys saw the, pro <clears throat> saw the process? And saw how I did the build, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that little video. I, I had a good time making this one. And uh, make sure you read the description, hit the uh, like button, share this video, get it out there, help our channel grow. Mike Vendetta, over and out.